Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I am working on this Michael Kors watch. This is quartz watch based on the Seiko VD53B movement. And this watch has some problem. So in this video I am going to fix this problem and problem is related to this subdial this subdial has broken pivot and somewhere on the inside of the watch we can find the yeah over there there is the hand which was connected to that pivot and that pivot broke so the main task of this video will be to replace the wheel with this pivot by good one so let's open the watch and start working on fixing the problem as always i am removing the bracelet sp spring bar And then I will open the case back. And this is the moment. I will remove the movement holder and I will remove the battery and then I need to remove the movement from the case. Now it could be easily removed. And I need to remove hands. Remove the second hand. And I need to remove small hands. So the hand from this subdial is smaller than from other two subdials and uh, the third hand is inside the case. These two hands are the same in size. Okay, now it's time to remove dial.
and then I'll put this to the holder okay now I need to remove this upper plate um, to get to the this place where the broken pivot is located and these two pivots are good so I need to unscrew these two screws Now I can lift this plate before I will release the date jumper and now I can lift the upper plate can I remove date indicator and I need to lift this plastic plate and I need to remove it very carefully because there are so many wheels behind this plate under this plate this is the wheel we need to replace and I will remove this one and there is the broken pivot I have replacement I'll clean it first And now I can replace this one. Now I can put back the plastic plate. then I can put the indicator, date indicator and upper plate and put back these two screws and before tightening the screws I am checking if the indicator is moving around date should change at midnight it starts to change and it changed so this is midnight point and we will need to in install the hands exactly at that uh, position I'll clean the dial and I can install dial now imagine 
the stick to push hand Now I need to install small hand on the 24 hours dial because we know that this is midnight. Two other hands I can install at any position because uh, I can adjust them later when I will set up chronograph. So this goes to the newly updated pivot. And last one, and the smallest one, it goes here. This is the seconds for the chronograph. Okay, so I'll push the stem. I will remove this from the holder. I'll put it to another support so I can remove the stem and I will push here and stem removed. I can go in ahead and install movement inside of the case. And I can insert the stem. And movement holder. And I can insert battery. And there is uh, some point where I can reset the movement. I will contact, I will connect this uh, contact with the ground. And it uh, resets the watch. And watch is running right now. And I need to check if chronograph works well. So I will push this button to start chronograph. And this is the second hand of the chronograph. It started to move. I can pause it. I can release it again. And I can stop chronograph and reset it to original position. 
it's a little bit offset so I can improve this I can correct this and now it's set exactly to the zero position and I can close the case back and I will put back this um, spring bar to connect bracelet thank you for watching and uh, if you like this video please subscribe give me likes uh, comment if you want to end I'll see you next time. Bye now.